Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I will explain some more problems related to permutations and combinations. Let's see the first question in this session. See here, in how many ways 5 boys and 5 girls sit in a circle so that no two boys sit together. Here, total we need to arrange 5 boys and 5 girls. 5 boys and 5 girls in a circle so that the condition which is given as uh, no two boys are sit together. If no two boys are sit together, first you can arrange all 5 girls. First you can arrange all 5 girls. Let us take these are the 5 girls. These are the 5 girls. 5 girls can be arranged uh, in a circle. That is 4 factorial ways. Uh, why? Because when we are arranging n persons uh, in a circle, those can be arranged in n minus 1 factorial ways, right? And uh, here the condition is no two boys are sit together. If no two boys are sit together, obviously the boys must be between the girls only. Between the girls, how many places are there? If you observe carefully, between the girls, we have exactly 5 places. We have exactly 5 places and we need to arrange uh, those 5 boys in those 5 places only. So, 5 boys are there and 5 places are there. 5 boys can be arranged in 5 places. That is in 5 factorial ways. Uh, therefore, the required answer is uh, 4 factorial into 5 factorial. As we know that 4 factorial is equal to 24 and uh, 5 factorial is equal to 120. 5 factorial is equal to 120. Now you can multiply these two. Here it is uh, uh, 24 tens are 240 and still uh, 2 times 48. Uh, so here it is 288. Here the product of these two 24 into 120 which is equal to 2880. 2880. This is the required answer for this question. No two boys are sit together. That is the given condition. Whenever no two boys are sit together, first you can arrange the remaining persons. Uh, once it is done, you can keep those uh, boys in the uh, in between the girls uh, so that you will get uh, the condition. It will satisfy the condition of no two boys uh, sit together. So the required answer for this question is uh, 2880. Let's move on to the next question. See here. In how many ways 7 persons can be seated around a circular table? Direct question. Here total 7 persons are there. If we want to arrange those 7 persons uh, on a circle. Here total 7 persons. If we want to arrange those 7 persons uh, on a circle around a circular table. That is 7 minus 1 factorial ways. Why? Because... Uh, if we want to arrange n members in a circle, that is uh, arranged in n minus 1 factorial. Why? Because the reason is I already explained while we are discussing about uh, the introduction part of permutations and combinations. Uh, why we are taking n minus 1 factorial means uh, because the reason is uh, first initially we need to fix one position. Once the position is fixed, uh, we need to arrange the remaining members. Uh, here total 7 persons are there. Out of those 7 persons, we need to arrange one position first. Once it is done, we need to arrange the remaining 6 members. 6 members can be arranged in 6 factorial ways. 6 factorial is equal to 6 into 5 factorial, which is equal to 6 into 120. 6 into 120, that value is how much? 720. Therefore, the value of uh, 6 factorial is uh, 720. In 720 ways, we can arrange uh, 7 persons uh, around a circular table. That is the required answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, in how many different ways, in how many different ways can the letters of the word believe? In how many different ways can the letters of the word believe uh, be arranged? Here, first of all, how many letters are there? B, E, L, I, E, V, E. These are the total 7 letters. Total 7 letters are there. 
and uh, seven letters can be arranged basically seven factorial ways seven letters can be arranged in how many ways uh, seven factorial ways but here if you observe carefully e is repeated three times e is repeated how many times three times if e is repeated three times you need to divide uh, with uh, three factorial you need to divide with uh, three factorial therefore number of ways is equal to seven factorial by three factorial so many students uh, will not divide with three factorial you will get the wrong answer so you must divide with three factorial why because uh, the reason is uh, e is repeated three times suppose if any other letter which is repeated more than single time uh, then you have to divide with those many times uh, here remaining uh, four letters are different so the required answer is uh, 7 into 6 into 7 factorial means uh, 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial here 3 factorial 3 factorial both are cancel now you can multiply these two here 7 6 are 42 42 into 20 which is equal 5 4 is 20 here it is uh, 840 840 ways uh, number of ways is equal to 840 7 factorial by 3 factorial that is 840 so the required answer for this question is 840 guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching